So Arisha, sometimes when a celebrity dies, it can stir up some pretty mixed feelings from the public, especially when they are very polarizing figures. Absolutely. And the news broke earlier today that former football star, actor, and accused murderer O.J. Simpson has died due to complications from cancer. And it's got people feeling all different kinds of ways, I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And those people are making themselves heard online. They sure are. From Wondery, I'm Brooke Sifrin. And I'm Arisha Skidmore-Williams. It's Thursday, April 11th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. So earlier this morning, the news broke that former football star, commercial pitch man, and actor O.J. Simpson has died at the age of 76, and O.J.'s family made the announcement on his ex account. Yeah, their statement said, On April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asked that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. Now, O.J. had apparently been battling prostate cancer for a while, but according to CBS Sports, his diagnosis was just made public back in February. Yeah, I was going to say I didn't, not that I keep up on the whereabouts of O.J. Simpson, but I didn't know he had cancer. I was like, oh. Here's what I didn't know. O.J. stands for Orenthal James. I don't know how I missed that his first name was Orenthal. I know that only because of the trial, because they read his full name. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't have. But they do call him the Juice. Which Did makes... you watch the trial? Yes. And it's wild. So I was we... too young. Well, so was I, which is the wild part. Because <laughs> I was going to save this till the end, but we watched the verdict in my classroom. You got to learn about the American judicial system and what a joke it is. Because like thinking back on age. it, I'm like, I, I can't know. believe that, that we like watched it in school. It truly was everywhere though it really I mean, was I, it was i didn't watch it but I, I knew about it it was on yeah. npr every day and my dad had that going lord knows yeah yeah so um richie's oj simpson is leaving behind a very divisive legacy he was a football star at usc who went on to become one of the greatest running backs in nfl history he actually played for the buffalo bills and he was even a spokesperson for hertz rental cars because hertz just loves football, football players. players like yeah. they can't get away from it i also love that in li- naming his legacy, we go with football to spokesperson for a car company. Well, it's a common trajectory, it seems. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> so, it's that um, or actor. Terry yeah. Bradshaw looking at you. Mm-hmm. Well, he did that, too. It's like, we don't need that. <laughs> True. He did Naked Gun, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like Arisha just said, after football, he actually went into acting and did the Naked Gun movies. But all of that fame was overshadowed by the infamy of his murder trial in the 90s. So in 1994, OJ's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, were brutally stabbed to death outside Nicole's condo in Brentwood, California. OJ quickly became the prime suspect because there was a lot of evidence that pointed Mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. Now, he tried to flee the L.A. police in his white Bronco in a notorious slow speed car chase. This played out in real time on national television. It was everywhere. They interrupted programming to play it Mm -hmm. live. I don't know a single person alive then who does not remember this. Okay, so me, but only because I've seen it parodied so many times that I Mm -hmm. can't even differentiate like, I don't if think I ever actually live. saw it happen live, but yeah. I've seen it happen so many times. And I've seen clips of it. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, I grew up in a household where we didn't watch much TV, so I wouldn't yeah. have seen most of this stuff. Yeah. Um, But after this, honestly, pretty boring car chase, if we're going to yeah. call it a spade a spade. But I also OJ... feel like this car chase made car chases a thing. Like, this is when news oh, channels That's... started yeah. Cutting to chases. There was that whole joke on Friends when Monica and Chandler are trying to get away and he, there's a car chase and he's like, I got to watch what happens. On Anchorman 2, they do a whole thing about it. They're yeah. like, we're going to go to a car chase. Like, it's, yeah. it's such a huge, a lot of cultural impact oh. from this whole thing. Absolutely. You never would have predicted. No. Um, but after this car chase, OJ was then tried for murder in what well, we've talked about, a hugely high profile case that was mm-hmm. referred to by many as the trial of the century. Yeah. Every moment of the trial was broadcast, including a very infamous moment where OJ's defense attorney, Johnny Cochran, asked him to try on bloody gloves that were found at the scene of the crime. 
And for those that haven't watched a clip or didn't watch it live, OJ struggled to put them on, which led to a very famous line from Cochran in his closing argument. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Yeah. Also parodied on Seinfeld <laughs> with Jackie, uh, Kramer's lawyer, uh, oh. and Sue Ellen Mischke putting on a bra. Oh, She was like, it doesn't fit. Yeah. They had too much fun with this trial. Well, you know what changes boobs? You know what doesn't change? Hand sizes. Well, she was also putting a bra on over clothes. Yeah, and he was putting Just these like, gloves on over other gloves. Don't get me started on this Well, yeah, and situation. they were soaked in blood. They're going to get tighter. Like, come on. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not a lawyer, but I might as well be one. We might as, um, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in 1995, after an 11-month trial, which I don't think I realized was this long. I don't know if I did uh, either. And with an incredibly controversial and divisive verdict, OJ was found not guilty yeah. on two counts of first-degree murder, which I don't think there was a single person shocked. Even OJ probably was shocked that he got away with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I actually went on to write a book about it mm-hmm. that he got in trouble for. Yeah. Um, so... While O.J. did not serve jail time for that, he was later found liable for wrongful death and battery in a 1997 civil lawsuit that was filed by the Brown and Goldman families. He was ordered to pay nearly thirty three and a half million dollars in damages. Mm -hmm. And then because if you're going to get away with murder, (laughs) don't do other crimes is my my whole thing. But O.J. doesn't believe in that because he had another run in with the law in 2007 when he stole some of his old sports memorabilia from a dealer in Las Vegas at gunpoint, Mm -hmm. which is just unhinged behavior. I mean, obviously, this guy's not well because who kills people? But honestly, um, for this crime, he was convicted of armed robbery and sentenced to 33 years. Mm -hmm. Now, to a lot of people, this was kind of like, okay, there's a little bit of karmic playback since he didn't get jail time for murder, but he gets jail time for robbery. Yeah. Um, he was released after serving nine years for that crime. Right. So given OJ's complicated legacy, people from both sides are weighing in on his death. I'm shocked there's two sides, to be really honest. Are you really shocked? Yes. I'm not. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess nothing shocks people me People love to forget and like put that, like I even looking at the comments, people are like, he's not guilty. <laughs> just, really? I haven't seen a single comment that said that. Someone's like, our jury found him not. I mean, they didn't say it like that, but they're like, the jury found him not guilty. He's not guilty. And it's like, I mean, based off our judicial system, that's what that means. But it's not always right. Yeah. So Caitlyn Jenner actually weighed in, who has a moral compass that we all aspire to. Um, And she has a very interesting past with OJ. She was Mm -hmm. friends with him back in the day. She also married Kris Jenner, who was previously married to Robert Kardashian, who was one of OJ's defense attorneys, uh, famously played by David Schwimmer. (laughs) <laughs> in, the, in the movie about also it. Also from the show Friends. Y- yes, yes. It's full um, circle. And it's clear that Caitlin is not at all mourning OJ's death. On X, she just wrote, good riddance. So. This is, mark this down as the only time I actually agree with Caitlyn Jenner. Agree with Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> yeah. Probably, definitely the last time. Yeah. Um, Fred Goldman, Ron's dad. Mm-hmm. Ron being, you know, one of the people that OJ was accused of murdering. Yes. His dad told NBC News, the only thing I have to say is it's just a further reminder of Ron being gone all these years. And then he called OJ's death no great loss to the world. Mm-hmm. And then this morning on The View, co-host Alyssa Farah Griffin said she hoped OJ's death would give some peace to the family of the victims. And on the other side of the things, because there's always at least two sides, someone mm-hmm. on X wrote, rest well, OJ Simpson. And another chimed in with RIP legend. I'm assuming that's an aspiring murderer. That person's actually just a big sports fan who's been in a coma <laughs> since the 90s. 30 years? <laughs> yeah. They were like, oh, my God, they my like, favorite up. football player died. <laughs> um, Devastating. So, Arisha, any final thoughts on OJ or his passing? I mean, fans of Naked Gun are really taking a huge hit tonight. I know I'm, I'm going to light a candle and vigil yeah. for just yeah. an absolute legacy gone. Just mm-hmm. kidding. I mean, I understand. I understand that there are complex feelings whenever somebody dies. I think about yeah. um, uh, Kobe Bryant. Like he actually right. had a very tumultuous history. Did some really shitty things, and not I to mean, this obviously, extent, obviously, yeah. I was gonna say not obviously not the same as murder at all. Yeah, but I I understand why people are sad because people like to ignore the bad parts of their heroes or the people that they mm-hmm. look up to or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
But I I just got to cite one of my favorite movies, Undercover oh, no. Brother. <laughs> when they talk about the white agenda and they're like, oh, so OJ really didn't do it. And all the black characters are like, Ugh. <laughs> and That's that right. was that was the jury I needed. And yeah. that confirmed for me he yeah. did do it. Yeah. Well, um, it's, it's funny because t- today, obviously, it was like everywhere. And yeah. I like came out of the bedroom and Ross was like, he was brushing his teeth. So he's like pointing at the TV because we watch CBS <laughs> mornings every morning. Oh my and I was God, like, you're such an old married couple. I know. You watch the news in the morning? He watches oh. the news. I feed squirrels. So <sighs> Important I don't know if that's better. But, um, but he was like, yeah, when like right before he died, he, like, he whispered, he was like, I did it. Like obviously mm-hmm. Ross was joking, but I was like, yeah. And everyone yeah. around him was like, we know. <laughs> like it's, we know. But he was like, don't forget to buy my book if I really had done it. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, even if you're someone, I get it every time this happens. It's like, well, let's just, like, let people rest in peace. Let's not speak ill of the dead, whatever. He wasn't found guilty in the first trial. But let's say that's I'll true. I'll speak ill of whomever I want. I know. I don't care if you're dead. I'm speaking ill of you if there's ill to be spoken of. Just because you die doesn't elevate you. I'm sorry. Of course not. He was also convicted <laughs> of several other things that were terrible. So it's like, you you can say all you want. He wasn't convicted in that original trial, but, like... Yeah, he was convicted of other things. So just relax, you know, like not everyone has to be a hero when they die. Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing is we shouldn't be. I mean, everybody's flawed some way more than others. But the Mm -hmm. idea of just being like a guy that was accused of murder, I think uh, whatever he did it. Like, (laughs) I'm not even going to like this jury's an idiot. I'm sorry. Like, it was clearly some people were like, oh, it's because of what happened with Rodney King. So they're like supporting. And it's just like. Whatever, but he did it, and he killed people, got away with it, did something even dumber. Mm-hmm. Not even dumber, but also dumb. Yeah. Didn't get away with it, and you know what? His time has come. Yeah. So now he's, you know, down, 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 dancing with the devil, probably. Uh-huh. Maybe shooting, throwing passes with the devil. I don't know what they do down there, and I hope to never find out. That's definitely what they did, because I watched The Good Place, and so I know for sure that that's what they do. They play they football. They throw footballs? Yep. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, the defense rests, I guess. From Wondery, I'm Brooke Sifrin. And I'm Arisha Skinner Williams. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skinner Williams and at Brooke Sifrin. We love to connect with you. 